Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing, and we're going to do another soft tackle fly today. It's called the February Red Soft Tackle, and it's from a different book. This one is Wet Flies by Dave Hughes. Uh, very interesting book. I've had it for years. Uh, lots of interesting patterns in it, and I've done this uh, Red February pattern years and years and years ago. So it's kind of cool to do it again. So let's get started and look at the materials. It's a simple pattern, and uh, but an unusual color scheme. The hook today is going to be a size 14 Mustad in the 3906B. Our thread is going to be this nice red in a Vivas 10 aught. We're going to use grouse for the hackle. And we're going to use hare's ear for the dubbing. That's going to go on the thorax. So let's get started. So you can see I did not make the body very long, and that's in the in the examples I've seen of this particular fly, the body is relatively short, and it's just the color of the thread. We don't need anything else to make this fly work. Um, so we're just going to put on just a little bit of dubbing. Don't overdo it. Actually, that's probably too much. Let's take some off. There we go. Now you can see I've prepped my grouse feather and this is relatively long. I can see if I can let's see if I can show you the length of the barbs compared to the uh, gape of the hook. It's a big feather. And if you see his patterns, you'll see that he uses some pretty big feathers. Um, usually the standard for soft hackles is that the Length of the barb is twice the gape of the hook. Well, this is more like three times. And I've seen a number of soft tackle flies where they've used feathers in the neighborhood of three times. So I, I can see the, the logic for it. You end up with a lot of great movement out of these longer feathers. And if you've done any reading or you've used Kabari flies, you'll know that their hackles can be quite long as well. Uh, it's a, an interesting approach. Okay, be careful coming forward. You don't want to break the hackle. Now, you'll see me do this often. I'll fold a piece of material back, and then I'll wind over it. That makes a bigger, bulkier head. I don't care. What I'm doing is I'm locking that hackle in place so it can't pull out. Got a stray bit of rabbit in there. There we go. And I'm going to leave this sticking up. I'm just going to put a couple of winds at the back carefully. No, oh, see my quill didn't break off. Quills break when you don't want them to. Don't break when you want them to. It's a rule. So I'll just try and cover that up a little bit. Okay, now we can whip finish. There we go. Our uh, February red soft hackle. Interesting pattern. Uh, I think it's uh, meant to... Um, uh, look at some of those winter flies that come off. It's meant to uh, imitate those. And I, I think it'll work quite well. Um, I've actually, believe it or not, I've used this in a slightly larger size for steelhead in uh, the uh, Credit River. So uh, I think you, there's a lot of potential for this particular type of fly. So give it a try, the February Red Hackle. Soft Hackle, I should say. Cheers. <laughs>